Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. I have just entered in uh, the town of Jasonsville, Indiana. Now the population of Jasonsville is 2,141 people. Jasonville has been losing population at a clip of 20.4% since 2010. The population density is 1,636 people. And right now the median home price is about $45,000. And there's currently a home around this area for sale on an MLS for about a hundred thousand dollars that's moving condition ready. I mean there's not a whole lot for sale around this area. Now if you're into buying a fixer upper, there are some fixer uppers around here that you can buy for about thirty to forty thousand dollars or so. But if you want something that's moving ready the only one I've seen that was moving ready was $95,000 at the lowest. Now, for the most part, housing here apparently is pretty cheap. And From here, you're 40 minutes outside of Terre Haute or Brazil, Indiana. So for communities that are a little bigger with more amenities, those are two communities where you can go. And also if you're looking for work, Uh, Jasonville, Indiana is in uh, Greens County, G-R-E-E-N-E, -E -E. and there's not a whole lot of history or information that I could find about this particular community that I thought would stick out or be of interest that you guys might want to know. So, other than the information I just gave, a lot of any other talking that I do is going to most likely be based on my opinion. Now, I never been to this community before. I never had a reason to be out here other than now to do this video. So just bear that in mind. Now these are some apartments I'll drive through real quick. These are called Shakamak Apartments. That is spelled S-H-A-K-A-M-A-K. -A -A these are retirement apartments, I'm sorry. They're not regular apartments, they're for retirees. So this is probably a 55 plus community here. apartments but they're not so my apologies
Now, I just thought of something. One of the reasons why I chose to come out here and shoot this video is because uh, several videos back, I think it was on one of the videos I made concerning, uh, I can't think of what the video was at this point, but on one of my previous videos that I made, uh, one of my viewers on that video suggested that if I wanted to see some parts of Indiana that are trashy, I should, I should come out here to Jasonsville, Indiana. So this viewer basically suggested that Jasonsville, Indiana was a trashy place. And I don't know if he was talking about the appearance of, this, of the area or how people carried themselves. I don't know, if, I don't know specifically what he meant by this area was trashy. So, as I drive through this community, I guess, feel free to leave a comment below. And tell me what you think. If you're from this area or you know about this area, once again, feel free to comment below. And like I tell you folks, I know nothing about this community, never been here, other than just now, as I shoot this video. Now, by looking at this area so far, I would say this is a typical small town in Indiana. I don't really see anything super crazy about this area at this point anyway. Now there are a few areas out here that might be said to be a little rough looking. But I would say for the most part, this is your typical Indiana small town setup. I mean, I, I've done videos of other small towns that, in my opinion, look far worse than this. I mean, there's plenty of places in major cities that look far worse than this. I've been through suburbs that look worse than this. 
not to mention in those areas, you're going to pay way more for your housing compared to what you'll most likely pay out here in Jasonsville. But yeah, I got to say so far out here, I don't see anything too ridiculous. I mean, that's my opinion anyway. I mean, I guess everyone's, ter I guess everyone's uh, definition of trashy is different. But personally, I don't consider this community trashy, at least from what I can see so far. I mean, there's little pockets out here that might be a little rough around the edges, but I would say for the most part, this is a typical small Indiana community. And me personally, some of the good things about living in an area like this is, I mean, for the most part, at least here in Indiana, if you live in an area like this, you'll typically get to enjoy the luxury of low government interference. You'll also will get to enjoy relatively low property taxes. And in many cases, even a low cost of living in general. I mean, you won't have to pay an arm and a leg to purchase home, to purchase a home or a piece of land out here. Now, of course, in times like right now, it's going to be next to impossible to find anything for much less than a hundred because all the cheap stuff people are coming out here and gram it up. Because right now I believe you got a mixture of a housing bubble I mean of a housing balloon bubble whatever you want to call it with the fact that you have a lot of people that are fed up with the politics of the city and the suburbs and you have uh, there's a fair number of us out here that really don't care for the politics of larger city living. We really don't want to deal with all the politics and the snobs of the suburbs. I mean, there's a group of us here in this country that, quite frankly, we prefer to have our own little community and not have a whole lot of interference from the government. And to have a low cost of living, low property taxes, all that good stuff, low crime. I mean, there's some, I mean, there's a, I mean, I would say there's a fair amount of us that prefer that type of life. And for those of us who feel like that, that's the reason why there's a group of us in this country that are moving to communities like this. Small, quiet, somewhat rural, kind of
kind of out a little bit. To where basically people can have the freedom to do what they want to do with their own property. You're not going to have the government. You're not going to have some city government coming through and slapping all kind of fines on you because your grass is too long or your shed is too big or they didn't like how your addition on the house looks. I mean, there's a group of us that, you know what? We're sick of that shit. So, that's the reason why I believe you got people coming out to these type of areas and buying up these properties at an alarming rate. some of us do enjoy the feel of actually having a community and not just having a bunch of neighborhoods where people just coexist and are miserable most of the time. I mean, there's some of us that prefer to be in areas like out here that's laid back, relaxed. You know, people for the most part are down to earth and nice Crime is relatively low. You're not gonna have to worry about getting carjacked or you're not gonna have to worry so much about home invasions or any of that kind of bullshit. So, That's the reason why a lot of people are coming out to these type of areas to buy these houses, I believe.
Yeah, this is, of course, the downtown area of Jasonsville. And here you have a, I mean, you've got a few basic amenities here. You, you have a subway, you got a, a Dollar General, you got a couple of banks. I mean, given that this is a small town, there's not going to be a whole lot of amenities, but you got a couple. Like I said, if you want more amenities, you'll have to go to Brazil or Terre Haute. I mean, off the top of my head, those are the two communities that are within a half hour, that are within 40 minutes of here that you can go to, to where you'll run into more amenities. sun is getting ready to come back out so I'm glad to see that 
I mean, it's not my favorite thing to shoot videos in the rain. But sometimes you do what you gotta do. Folks, this video is going to most likely cut off in a couple of minutes or so. So before it does, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching my video of Jasonville, Indiana, here in Greens County. I think I'm pronouncing that name right, Greens County. If I'm not, leave a comment below. I mean, but to me, just off of what I see so far, for the most part, this is just a typical Indiana small town. I don't see anything all that bad about this town. It's just a typical Indiana small town from what I can see. Now, granted, I don't know enough of the people. I, I haven't talked to any of the people out here. Like I said, there are a few, well, there are a 
are a few areas that that are a little rough, but I, to be quite honest, I don't think those areas are all that bad. I've seen worse. 